damn it's like we all live in the same life we are all collectively struggling out here T times is tough what's up everybody welcome back to another chat with simply investing my name's sal here again thanks for tuning in she speaks a good point debt is really like a the new form of enslavement and there really is no such thing as good debt because all debt can be called upon just like a lot of influencers and these gurus say that hey you need good debt that's going to give you income but if your interest rate spikes because you bought an APY loan on property and then they don't pay you the rent the bank is going to call that mortgage but speaking to what her topic is about the family the household debt i mean that's that's pretty close to an actual average right so you got to think like how are people able to make it means to means and it's usually with credit cards the be the only way you can ever get escape this situation is you find have to find, knock out the credit cards that's the only that's the only way once you knock out the credit cards then you can knock out the auto loans and then you have your mortgage and your student debt then you can knock out the student debt and then hopefully by then you have pretty much come close to paying off your mortgage and can refinance or maybe get a better or you know sell the house and cash out in the equity to get a uh, a downsize or upgrade whatever you'd like but unfortunately a lot of this debt that a lot of these households have was racked up in like a short period now when we say a short period in banking terms we mean like five years so basically you got your student loans and and four years later you got a car or car loan then like a couple years after that you got your mortgage so now you got all this debt right away at the time of your life when you're in your 20s and 30s that you should be stacking and putting away for investments and unfortunately the debt is sucking off that extra money so you you feel like you can't escape and we just talked about this on our live you can go on to our youtube description in in the bio there and go see today's live and you can see that we talked about this at length like the average person is spending eight dollars and 49 cents at starbucks average person has about 70 bucks a month in streaming platforms then you have your cable bill you have all this other stuff that you have on top of that and then you have then you're you know most people are vaping or cigarette smoke you have drinking going out on the weekend stuff like that it adds up we added it up and in four years you can have sixty thousand dollars it averages out to about a high 15,000 per year that you are spending on those so if you take that into if you stop those and they start saving those and investing those you can have a significant windfall or you start knocking out some debt I mean sixty thousand dollars that could take out your know, auto loan and the student loans in one shot don't you think that would be a good uh, good place to go and in four years yeah it will be a rough four years it will be rough trust me I did it I had two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in student loan debt. I went to a really good school that you know I went to an Ivy League school and then I went to uh, then I can't my parents made too much money so I couldn't get the financial aid so basically I had to take out loans to cover what my parents couldn't cover so that left me with two hundred and fifty thousand as soon as I paid that off I got my car and I can tell you I've always had extra money that's how I, and that's from then on I said I'm never after my student loans I said I'm never getting into that amount of debt no more than 50% of what I'm earning is for debt and this goes with my companies too I have four businesses four and the debt I have is no more than 50% of my revenue this way if revenue dips unexpectedly I could still pay my debt or I can decide to liquidate and pay off the debt and be debt free. That's it's like, the, I think the key problem here is everyone's over leveraging. You're just over leveraging and now you're overextended and now your main point is income and it's not covering it. And that's, and now you need to live too. And no one took that into consideration. I would say going forward, make sure you guys try to find a budget that works, cut out the things that you really don't. When you actually go line by line by line, which is what comp big companies are doing right now. They're doing layoffs line by line by line, and you will make this work. You just got to stick to it. It's going to be a rough four years, but you can make it. Maybe even five years, 
but it, you it, 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 you'll be surprised at how much you can accomplish in five years. So if you're 25 and you got that amount of debt, you can overcome it. If you're 30, you can overcome it. If you're 35, you can overcome it. Even if you're 40, you can overcome it. It just takes five years, but you have to sacrifice those five years. That's that's all. That's all. That's the only way it's going to ever work. I know when I had I had I have overextended on my business during COVID, and I realized that. And I made that mistake again. I said, you know what? We're going to sacrifice these two years and we're going to get this shit paid off. And what happened is last year I paid it off. And it was such a liberating feeling because that was like a $3,500 a month payment off of my revenue. Just to, and instead of me, and also instead of me doing the minimum $3,500, I was like, nope, put $7,000. So I, I was just piling on $7,000. I paid that sucker off. Within 24 months, I think it was 25 months, we paid it off. Paid off a three-year loan in 25 months. And we said, you know what? I'm never, never, never going to get in that debt ever again. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Don't, if you're in this situation, you can overcome it, but you got to sacrifice your next three, four, five, or six years to get this paid off. But you can do it. It is possible. It just sucks doing it. I know it sucks, but if you do it, you'll be happy about it. Thank you guys for watching. Check us out. Like and subscribe and follow. Help me get back up to a thousand. This TikTok account was banned. So let's get us back up there.